Congratulations on your purchase. My name's Logan and I made these tools. Now you have two ways to use these six tools. The first way and the way that I recommend is by following the process, which is the video you're watching now, where I'll explain how each tool kind of feeds into the next one. But alternatively, you can use each tool standalone, so without feeding into the next one. If you want to do that and use the standalone tools, that's no worries. Just before you do that, follow the next step I'm about to say, and then you can just jump into those tools. So before you can use any of these tools, you will need a chat GPT account, but it doesn't have to be a paid one. A free account is totally fine. So just go to chat.openai.com and sign up for an account or just use your existing Google account and it'll make you one. That's all you need to do. And then after that, click on the links and the downloadable PDF and you'll be able to access the tools. Now, if you're going to go standalone, then click the standalone links now in the PDF. But otherwise, if we're following the process, then we're going to click on the very first tool, which is the niche and target audience finder. So click on that and we'll get started. Great, so after clicking on the niche and target audience finder AI tool, what you wanna do is give the AI as much detail as you can. So for me, for my Instagram page, I run a page called Kiwi Dad. It's about parenting advice and other things. So I'm just gonna fill out everything that I know about my page right now. You can do less detail than this. You can do more, entirely up to you. The more you give it, the better results you're gonna get. So I've just put, I'm passionate about parenting, helping other dads and mums. My account is called Kiwi Dad. I share things like relationship communication tips, parenting advice, as well as mental frameworks, gratitude practices, and then a little bit about me that I used to be a school teacher and things like that. Great, after giving it information, it's going to ask you for some more specific details. And this is really important. Once we have answered all these questions in detail, we're gonna get this great output, which we can then use for all our other AI tools. So you really want to try and spend at least some time answering these questions. Great, so I've answered each question with a couple of sentences. Again, up to you how much detail you put in. Once I press enter, I will start to get my results. So this tool is going to give me three different niche categories. These niche categories are based on how you have answered the questions, as well as what is currently trending on Instagram. We're also going to get three target audience profiles, and these are incredibly useful. So these are the profiles of who is likely to follow your your page and these are the people you're trying to reach so your content should connect with these three types of people and if you can connect with them you're going to get a massive surge in engagement and follower growth. Awesome, we've got our three content pillars, we've got our target audience. Now what we're gonna do is copy all of this information and we're gonna start feeding it into our other AI tools. So highlight everything you just got and copy it. I also recommend saving this to a Google Doc somewhere because you'll keep coming back to this. Content Planner Plus. Now, hopefully before using this tool, you've used the Niche and Target Audience Finder AI. If you haven't, I strongly recommend you go back and use that one first because you're gonna get a much better content plan from using it. All right, because we've used it, what we're going to do is write in a prompt, create me a 30-day content plan based on the niches and target audience below. Present the plan in table format. Give me as much detail as you can. And then we're simply going to paste the output that we got from our previous niche and target audience tool into this prompt. So your final prompt should look something like this. And now you can see it is building out a full 30 days of content for us. What we'll get is some high level details of what to make. You'll get a full 30 days. And then what I'm going to do is show you next how to get more detail out of this so that you can have all your planning done for you. Straight away, you can see that there's some really good quality ideas here. Again, it's using your niche, your target audience and videos that are currently doing well on Instagram. What it's being fed is data from a tool called Instrack, which checks and engagement and things like that. So you're going to be recommended posts that have a high engagement value. Great, so we've got our full 30 day plan and just off the bat, this is really useful, but we can get a lot more out of this plan by entering this prompt. 
For the first seven days, please fully map them out. Give me three times options for the hooks, write the caption for each day, and suggest what to create. Then press enter. And here we go, now we're getting some really detailed planning for a full seven days. And if we want this to look more aesthetically pleasing, we can ask it to be turned into a table. There's a whole bunch of options here, but basically you've got a good first plan here, which you can then copy into any sort of planner you want. I personally use a Notion template, which I'll link below so that you can use it as well. What I like to do is I use this as my base draft plan. And then the other AI tools I have, I feed these titles, the hook, the concept, the caption into those tools to get an even richer output. But you don't have to do that. You could use just this planner and I'm positive you would do really well and it would speed things up for you. If you wanna take your content to the next level and really get the most out of every piece of content you post, then it is worth using the other AI tools you have access to. It's really just about time. If you wanna spend the time to make things that extra bit better, go that extra mile, keep using the other tools I've got. If you're just looking for a way to streamline your content, then this content plan is going to do that job for you really well. And then you can just repeat this process for future days. So if you want day eight to 14, just ask it to repeat the process. If you want, say the first three days, is to be even more detailed, just ask it to be more detailed. Everything's already preloaded for you to have the best outputs possible. But have some fun with it, see what you can make. But I can guarantee this is going to speed up any kind of content creation process drastically. Real GPT Plus. Great, so if you've been following along, you should have used the niche and target audience tool first, then Content Planner Plus, and now we're going to have the first seven days of our content fully planned out with 30 days roughly planned out. From here, we want to just copy day one from Content Planner Plus, so highlight it and copy it, and then jump over to Real GPT Plus. Once we're here, we don't need to write anything. All we need to do is paste day one in and press enter. Awesome, and now we can see that it has gone into a lot more detail of what we should make the reel about. Now we've got our opening line. We've also got some key concepts to try and cover. So the first smile, grasping objects, recognizing voices. Again, this is based on my parenting page. Whatever your niche is that you've done earlier, that's the content that's gonna come out here. We've also got some visual and audio element. We're just prompted on what kind of footage we should try and use, maybe what kind of music we could use and what text as well. With all of these tools, you obviously wanna change things yourself and move them around a bit. You don't wanna just leave it like this exactly. You do wanna refine it, but this gives you so much to work with. Hook GBT Plus is designed to make really powerful hooks that are using the most popular vectors right now. Perhaps I have some hooks already from my Content Planner Plus tool, or maybe I used Real GPT Plus, but I didn't like the hooks. What I can do is copy whatever I had as the hook so far, or what the topic is, and I can simply paste it into Hook GPT Plus, and it will give me a range of hooks that are likely to do well. And you can see we've got the before after bridge. This is a really popular format that does really well. Personal story the promise, a bold truth, a problem solution. All of these are designed to really captivate the viewer and just give your content that greater edge to really try and get someone to watch your video. Caption GPT Plus. Okay, let's say I've used Content Planner Plus and I've liked the first day that it's given me. It's got some good hooks and things like that, but the caption just isn't working for me or I wanna make the caption better. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight everything that I had for day one, and then I'm going to copy it, and then I'm gonna to go to caption GPT plus. Then I'm simply going to write the prompt, this is a reel I am making, please improve the caption. And then I'm just gonna paste the output from Content Planner. And just like that, I've got an awesome description that really outlines different steps that a newborn does with some detail. Now, because the caption is basically just repeating what the reel is gonna be about, I want some different milestones. I don't want the exact same ones as the video, but that's fine, I've made this tool to be able to accommodate that. So I just have to specifically say the change I want, 
So I'm going to say, I want milestones besides the first smile and grasping objects. Let's see what it gives me. Cool. Now I'm getting something else. So now my caption is going to be about eye contact, tummy time, responding to sounds. So now for someone that's watching my content, they'll learn something from the reel. And then when they read the caption, they're going to learn a little bit more, which for me just seems like better content for my followers. It's done even more than that. It's giving me even more. I'm getting head lifting, cooing, tracking objects. My third one is seems to be the same kind of things just written in a different way but you can see I've got six different things now and I could merge these two captions if I wanted I could ask caption GPT to make it a list of five different milestones and it would do that for me again this is for parenting because that's my niche but this will work for any niche that you throw at it Carousel GPT Plus is designed to very quickly make you Instagram carousels that will likely perform well it's particularly useful if you want to create an educational carousel or share some data-driven facts and you can pump these out really fast using this tool. To start, pick one of the three prompts that I've already got set up. I'm going to pick develop a data-driven carousel about topic. Because my niche is parenting because I run a dad Instagram page, I'm going to ask it to make one on the involvement of fathers in the 21st century compared to 20th century fathers because I find that topic quite interesting. And then you'll be given a seven slide carousel that will tell you what image to make as well as what text to put on the carousel. Now you can jump over to DALI which is the AI artwork generator that ChatGPT has and you can literally just copy in the prompt for the visual and it will make the visual image for you. So you can see how you can create a massive amount of carousels at a really fast rate using this system. Awesome! If you've made it this far, then you have hopefully followed the process the entire way. I'm sure from following this process, you've already seen how useful these tools are. So if you have found benefit, please leave a review on the product page. I'd really appreciate it. If you leave one and you take a screenshot and then you email it to me, then I'll give you a freebie. Whatever AI tool I'm working on right now, I'll send to you straight away. Also, if you have feedback, if the tool isn't working how you expect, Expected or there's a problem that keeps coming up, again, send me an email. I want these tools to be the best they possibly can be, and I need your help to do that. So hopefully we can refine these and just make them amazing. I want to save time. I know you want to save time. Let's work together and really make awesome, awesome content. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you found benefit. I'm sure you have. All the best, and I'll see you around.